It's time for Guys Talk Knives. Merry Christmas. No, I was going to ask you, how's your Thanksgiving? It was amazing. Was it good? Way too much food. I tell you what. Did yeah. it hurt your stent? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Because it was turkey. Turkey's fine. You uh, can eat all the turkey. Do What, John? Pipe cleaner. Pipe cl- yes, was, exactly. Like, <laughs> I got a special one put in. I got a little thing on my neck. I just pull it, go back and forth. Cleans out all the veins on the back. It's good to go. You got a blowhole scrubber. <laughs> I actually watched a YouTube video. They have this new one that goes in and it looks like a little drill uh-huh. and just goes Meep, and then the <laughs> plaque, the artery build right. up, just gets shot out the back nice. end. Nice. I was like, ain't technology grand? Well, technology is grand because we just got finished with Cyber Monday. Yes, we did. I got finished with Black Friday, Cyber that Monday. We're counting it all as one thing. It really was all one thing. It was amazing. Cyber Bull Monday. <laughs> <laughs> and we appreciate all of you that came in and no, took advantage sure. of the sales and everything yeah. else. It, it was amazing. Uh, and now we're on that final last push to Christmas. You know, and this is, to me, is when I do my shopping. Yeah, that's pretty This much. is when I'm in the zone yeah. and I'm ready to shop for everybody in the list. Do you go out on Black Friday? No. No, God. No, no I, have, I have not ever gone out on Black Friday. I went one time. <laughs> My sister convinced me to go. John was raising his hand. Poor butthead. <laughs> oh, I have friends. That is their thing. They go out after no, as soon as Thanksgiving's no, over, they head no, to the stores. No. You will never find I'm like you. Time time to dig into the leftovers on Black Friday. I'm That's like exactly you what I did this last Friday. I laid in front of the TV. Yeah. I did absolutely nothing. Yeah, I, I, I hid in the house. Well, no, actually, I guess last year, Black Friday, I worked. Uh huh. Because we have stuff going on, and I, I work this this Black Friday as well. Right. Um. Simple because it's a busy day for yeah for ecom. Um. The internet's a beautiful thing. You can work from home. It, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, it, no. There's there's not a ch- now. I tell you what though. Here's the fun thing about working at this store on Black Friday. Yeah. You get to watch the line. Yes. From upstairs, uh-huh. away from the crowds as people come in. Oh, yeah. That is a blast. Yeah. Yeah. And they always kick, they killed it this year again in the oh, store. It's a huge they line out do. the door. It's amazing. Always, always yeah. do. So as we push to this last piece of Christmas, yes. what I wanted to do was hit our top five Christmas gift wish list. So well, like, see, and I was jazzed when you mentioned this because I said, okay, this, because we, we have some really cool stuff. On the some table. of the stuff you've seen before. Yes. Uh, some of the stuff you have not seen at all. One of the pieces I avoided looking at uh-huh. until today. Oh, so I've dodged it for over a month. Nice, because I wanted to see it first time on the show. Nice. Yeah. So, so before we dive into that, let's let everybody know we are uh, brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, SMKW dot com. As if Make, they didn't realize that I, from our hats, it's all over us yeah. all the time. It's on your shirt. I'm gonna get a tattoo. <laughs> That's the store we're talking about every time we talk about the store. Uh, make sure you're uh, subscribing to this uh, episode or to this show, yep. and make sure you're ringing that bell to get your notifications. But let's go ahead and dive into this. Yes. Um, and I don't remember what I put on the list first. Uh, so on the list first, maybe my favorite fixed blade that we've done this year. The JG5? Yeah, mainly because we had a hand in, in the development and design. Absolutely. For a short period of time, it was our exclusive. Yes, and it was. now it's being snatched up all over the country. And we're still selling more than anybody else. I still think we have the best price, probably. <laughs> it is a map priced item, but it is at uh, right at one fourteen. Yeah, and and that is the JG five, oh, uh, the man. SE JG five. This is a uh, Nesmic inspired yes. knife. Um, I think it's one of the coolest new things that SE has done in a long time. I think it is so for them. It is so just like the PR four was. It's so out of the ordinary, mm-hmm. and it has so much history involved with it. Um, it. To me, a company like Essie that has that has all of its knives tied into the the adventure training school, into right. using these knives right. to bushcraft, to be out in the woods, to be, to be a survivalist, to then look back into history with the mm-hmm. PR4 and look at Kephart. Right. With the JG5 and look at Sears's Nesmuk. Right. I I just I I think it's I think it is a cool piece of history attached to this completely useful tool. Right. Uh, and I, again, I, I can't talk enough about that. Knife. So for those of you who have not seen this before, let me hit the highlights again yeah. on this. It's 1095 carbon steel. Yeah. 
It's about nine inches long. Yep. And it's perfectly balanced. So this is Completely almost a four and a half inch handle, almost a four and a half inch blade. Exactly. Uh, Tyler was telling me that when he took his elk uh, on his hunt that he just went on, he used this to skin it out. I, was, put, I hadn't asked him that, but I assumed he probably did. We put some pictures up of it. And what he pointed out to me was the design actually helps you as a skinning blade because when you're like sure. getting into the... Um, uh, the hamstring area of, yeah. of the elk, right? So you're getting your skin off uh, the outside skin from the leg. The, as you put it upside down and get under there, this works like a ski. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. So it I holds can see the blade that. up and pushes and glides along without any friction other than that one point. There you go. Now, this, of course, was inspired by George Washington Sears' yeah. uh, original Nesmuk knife. It is pretty much the same shape. Uh, James Gibson yeah. uh, helped develop it back down. But Nesmuk was uh, big on, I don't need a gigantoid knife yeah. to put out there. Uh, and uh, as my uh, camp knife, what I need is a knife that will handle the details, will do the skinning, will do the work that I needed to do, and then I can use my axe to do everything else. Well, I was about to say, it's funny how a lot of those original trail guides, the guys who mapped a lot of the national parks, the guy, uh, Kephart, Mm -hmm. they both were fans of just Mm -hmm. this nice, small, useful hand tool. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, this knife, it's going to be my everyday, everything knife. Right. That I can keep razor sharp, um, and they just, uh, again, yeah. I, I love it. Um, I love this black oxide coating that, uh, that, uh, Essie is putting on stuff. Uh, <laughs> I do. And, and I know from talking to Shane, who's, who's one of their, who's their, their marketing guru uh-huh. at Essie, he prides himself on taking the oxide coating off oh, of the yeah. knife. Oh, and he yeah. says it's really hard to do with what, uh, and the name just left me the company that produces almost all of Essie's stuff right now. Oh, Rowan. Rowan, thank you. Yeah. Um, he, he said he said with the oxide coating that Rowan uses, it's very hard to do. Yeah, and, and they are they are literally, uh, it's there to protect your knife. You don't have to have it. And I notice as these get really hard use and lots of cleaning and all of that good yeah. stuff, it looks really cool. Oh, yeah. Well, and you'll see on a lot of these guys, when, they, when it starts wearing, you'll see a thumbprint uh-huh. right there, or obviously if they're left-handed right here, you'll see a thumbprint where they're using this knife constantly and right. the Olsen thumb is actually wearing right regardless of the finish right on the side of the blade 90 degree spine of course so you yep. can pop your flint when you need exactly. to exactly uh sculpt macarta handles triple riveted we say sculpt actually james gibson calls this chipped and i know yeah. he does because he's all into the flint napping and sure. all of that stuff but either way uh this will end up molding to your hand yeah it will it will it seems like it would be uncomfortable at first. It is, it not. is not. It is not. It's nope. not uncomfortable out of the box, but as you use it, it will patina, it patina. and become more your knife, which yeah. that's what I love about the Macarta stuff. And it even comes with a nice leather sheath. Oh, yeah. That that fits, again, that theme, that that historical fill. Put that right on these your knives. Belt. That's not just, going anywhere. Yeah, it's just great. Yeah, genuine leather sheath that is is the old uh, Scandinavian type sheath that holds a knife deep in there. If you're looking for a fixed blade for somebody on your shopping list, I'm not going to say this is the only one because it obviously is not. But We've, something something historic, something special. new, something special, something that not everybody has. KG5. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I, I would agree with that. One fourteen on that. That is on the top of the Christmas wish list. Oh yeah, uh, it's an SE, so it means it's guaranteed for life. No questions yeah. asked. You screw it up because you're stupid. It doesn't matter. They'll take <laughs> it back replace it. and replace it. Yeah, that is just what it is. Yep. But that to me is probably one of the better ones that we have on our wish list today. I and really he, love that knife. And again, SE's going to replace it with something else next year. Oh yeah, that we're going to go. Oh no, now this is it. I have, uh, but I, right now, especially, I have a good idea of what that's going to be. <laughs> uh, right now, from Essie, that's uh, that is certainly my pick. Shane, I won't tell our secrets. I promise. <laughs> but Shane Adams and I have some secrets coming. Just just a few. Yeah, just, just a few. few. Dig down in that bag and bring something new and good and awesome yeah. for next year. It's going to be such a cool company. It's just a good set of guys. So let's touch on the other exclusive that we did. <gasps> yeah. uh, and. Uh, We've sold a bunch of these. Have you seen the pictures online of this thing in the sun? I have. It, the, our lights here don't do it justice. Our picture online is fantastic. Right. It doesn't do it justice. Go look up this exclusive uh-huh. and find people's pictures that they've taken out in the sunlight. The red infused handle glows. In case you don't know, this is the Benchmade 940 1802. Yeah. It is an exclusive to Smoky Mountain Knifeworks. It has a red resin infused carbon fiber handle. And you look at these things. Oh my goodness! Look at the thin profile there. Yeah. And just hard as a rock because it's carbon fiber. Yeah. It's light. It's strong. It's everything there. 
Uh, the red thumb stud stands out. Gives it a nice pop. Yeah, and that's, a, of course, a, an ambidextrous thumb stud, so well, it's on both and, sides, And of it's course. a bench made, so the opening is fantastic. The access... Access, access lock? Axis, 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 like the axis. I always of evil. say that wrong. I know the axis lock <laughs> um, on this uh, for me is perfectly placed to be very good. One hand opening, one hand closing. I, I dig it. Yeah, and that didn't even touch the fact that this is M three ninety black coated M three ninety steel. So you've got a super steel. Yes, you do. Right here, M three ninety bench made in the nine forty. It's an Osborne design. It's the classic nine forty that everybody loves. But and it's a little bit more than three hundred twenty bucks. Yeah. But for an exclusive 940 Osborne carbon fiber, carbon fiber M390, yeah, that's really I mean, not you're a just, bad at price this point, at all. It's just like you're checking the list, right? Yeah, you're no, exactly. Like, what could I put in a Benchmade that made it better? Carbon fiber, check. <laughs> oh, not just carbon fiber. Can we infuse that with some really cool color? Red, check. What do I want in my high-end, high-quality pocket mm-hmm. knife? Mm-hmm. I want carbon fiber. Right. I want... A super steel. Right. I want the blade to be black. That's a personal thing, but I do nine times out of ten. Right. Um, And I want it to have some, I want to have that appeal that not everybody has. And if I can get an exclusive too, come on. Right. Come on. Tip uh, tip up carry. Yeah. uh, Fully reversible uh, pocket clip. So you're lefty righty. You're all good. Yep. Doesn't matter. And uh, that axis lock always works lefty righty too. Yes, it does. Which is really, really nice. I just... I dig this knife. Uh, I think a lot of people out there, I talked to some people in Portland when we were out there who they were looking to get a second one yeah. on site because yep. they liked it that much and they wanted to have another one that was pristine. <laughs> uh, I have also talked to some Seriously. people online. If somebody asked me uh, about this because they were ready to get two more. They were like, can you go through the bin and pick out the wow. ones that are redder than the other ones? And I had to tell them, look, this, this carbon fiber didn't come. It, it wasn't dyed. It's not yeah, dyed. It's, not dyed. it's infused. It's, it's infused. So it's woven yeah. into the carbon fiber. Uh, thank you. Yes. yes. It, it's the way carbon fiber is put together. It's, it's a weave. So this, this was one big sheet. Yes. And then they made the knives from it. Yeah. Right, so there's not going to be ones that are redder than other knives. It is what it is. But again, but you put again, that sucker out in the sun. Yeah, I wish we had a flashlight because I would show you just really just works. how how red that much red comes out. What if we can get it from a cell phone? Maybe. Let's try it. Let's try it. I think it's worth it. Science. You have you to come in front of it bit. towards the. He's going to come right there. Put it right on the handle. See hey. that red kind of pop. Uh, again, just buy the thing and take it outside oh, yeah. on a bright, sunshiny day. Yeah. Bright, sunshiny I knew you were going there. But that is that is just such a, it is such a good-looking knife. And again, it's bench made. It's going to yeah. last forever. Well, it's pretty cool because these are both exclusives to us or were at the beginning. Sure, yeah. Stuff. The bench made still isn't exclusive yeah, to yeah. us. Nobody else has got it. Uh, and two far ends. Oh, I, they're, they're night and day. Yeah. They're night and day even as far as as how they were designed, why they were designed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just uh, Do you remember who went ended up head to head in March Madness last year? On our site, Knife Madness March? It was Essie and And, and Benchmade, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Essie thumped them in the end. They did, but again, the, I mean the fans came out. No, the fans the, came we'll out. We'll probably do that again this year, but the fans came out. But I tell you, for those two to be the top of the heap doesn't surprise me. No, not at all. Especially that we're doing exclusive sure. for them. Yeah. If you're looking for exclusives like this and others that are special factory <laughs> offerings and things like that, just go to Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. That's who sponsors this show. That's who brings you guys talk knives every single week. If you had to guess, how many exclusives slash SFOs per do we year? do in a year? Not now, I'm not counting the stuff we produce, like Rough Rider or the 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 uh, WBC stuff. The Brian no, but I want to say it's probably upward of fifty. I would think so, pretty easily. If when you, you got, look all the way look, around the brands, if you look at Buck, if you look at Boker, if you look at Benchmade, if you look at Essie, if you look at Case, Case, Case is a huge one, huge well, SFOs. Yeah, we were one of the biggest sellers of Case yeah, in the country exactly. uh, year in year out. But the SFOs are always there. In fact, the Christmas knife that is still hopefully on sale right now and available. It may not be at this point. It may be out. The Bell, the bell Trapper. That yeah. is the biggest seller of the year. And it's Always. an SFO. Always. Always the biggest seller for case. Yeah. Of SFO the year. special factory order. Yeah, or offering. Offering. Yeah. Yeah. Either one. But it, it I'll take it. Th- those are things that special. we go to a vendor and say, we want to do this. Make this for us. Yeah. And we'll sell it exclusively and we'll, you know, eat it if we don't. 
Sure, and that Christmas knife, we don't ever eat those. No, they're no, no, no. Gone. That Mary Berry is awesome this year. Oh, to go so purple pretty. for the first yeah, time, it's, so it's badass. It's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. But we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, home of 20,000 products. And growing. And growing. All the time. Yeah. Uh, we should be have tipped over into 94,000 people in the SMKW Army, so this is my time to remind you yeah. that you need to be following us on Facebook. You need to follow us on Twitter. You need to follow us on Instagram. Be part of the best knife-related social media oh, anywhere. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Best for sure. people in the world. Yeah, answering our daily questions, making sure that you're logging in and checking yeah. out the uh, the giveaways. We do a giveaway on Facebook <laughs> every single sure. week. We do a giveaway on Instagram every yeah. single week, and they are different all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. So that's out there. That's doing that. You're watching Guys Talk Knives. That's Jason. I'm Andy. We'll be right back after this. We are back with more guys dog knives. Thank you, Antonio. You are very welcome. You went all you went all Zaro on I, I want to uh, talk like this the whole rest of the episode. <laughs> I'm sure the listeners I, I love will you, really appreciate that. I love that, that your Mississippi brings that to Zaro every time. Every time. Every time Zaro and uh, access locks. Access locks. <laughs> Allies in the access. <laughs> That's Jason. I'm Andy. You're watching Guys Talk <laughs> Knives, and we are talking our top five. Did we get five things? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. You can't even count. It's hard. Next up is. Next, I'm taking off my boots. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is our wish list. This is things. If you wanted to put uh, things on the list for us to buy us, and we encourage you to do that. Buy oh, sure. buy these things for us. Yes. This is so these are some big items that we really really loved. And, I, and I, this next one, that's you, what you want. They can buy for me. Of course. I put this one on here just for you. My first high end pocket knife purchase back in 2000 uh-huh. was a Spider Co. Yeah. Most I'd ever spent on a knife. Yep. And I was like, oh my God. The question and I is, still have can it. Can I do it? Oh, can I do it? Oh, I couldn't there do it all go. the way. It was close, though. It was close. That's a bigger knife. It is a bigger yeah. knife. It's a, it's a little tight. It needs some work on it at this yeah. point. Yeah, it'll work in. That's the Chinook 4. <sighs> Wow, and that's the high end. Shino yeah, that is a well. that is an awesome, awesome. Knife. What was the blade still in that one? Um, it is CPM S thirty V. Yeah, super still in a Spider Co. In a Chinook Spider Hole. So I remember when it's I amazing. was at uh, Blade Show two years ago. I showed this one. Uh, I was shown this one in its prototype stage. Yeah, and that 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 video blew up because yes. nobody had seen it yet and everybody yeah. was like oh pass this around look at this chinook that's insane you've got that nice upswept blade on that just yeah. a a tremendous it, it's a beefy knife from mm-hmm. spider co it has just a good a good firm handle that doesn't go anywhere um this is one of their tactical wow. blades and you can yeah. see the belly on this and, oh, yeah. and all of it it is basically was originally designed designed as a service member's knife oh sure so police military all of that. It's got the G10 handles. Yep. It, of course, has a lock back, which makes it a lot stronger than oh, your standard liner lock. I'm telling you. And as always with Spider Co., you got your reversible pocket clip that you yep. can move around uh, and your trademark round That's hole. Exactly. The spider hole. I'm going to kick you in the round hole. <laughs> do the flick. Got Come on, do the flick. I'm going to try. Hang on. It's, it's, it's not quite there. Or, I know you're going to do your snap. Or... Oh, oh see, yeah. it does need a little bit of needs a little bit of oil, a little bit of work. Right in your hand, ready to use. I, I, I love my Spider Co. Still carry it right a couple of times a week. And it yeah. 225 on that Spider Co. Chinook sure. 4 with S30V steel. It just doesn't get much better than it's that. It's a lot of knife. It is a lot of knife. It's a lot of knife. If you have a Spider Co. fan in your family, like Jason has in his you. when he looks in the mirror, yeah. uh, that's Jump the one it. you want to get him. Look at the at just the amount of steel on the back of that. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's God. it's it's got great lockup. Yeah, it's got it amazing does. lockup. It's got a lanyard hole there if you need to make sure that that doesn't sure. fall off or go anywhere. Well, which the, with that price point, you do want to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'm always scared when I I have a few knives that are over 200, and it's it's frightening it's to terrifying. take them out. It yeah. is, it is because you're like, I don't want to lose that. Well, that's why that's why if I'm going somewhere that I'm not sure what's going to happen at the door, mm-hmm. I will carry my Rough Rider. Right. Because then if I have to relinquish the Rough Rider, number one, I know whoever gets that and keeps it because they're going to keep it. Right. Is getting a good quality 
handmade guaranteed for life product. Right. And I can replace it relatively inexpensively. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Whereas with this, I would just go, ah, I'm going home. <laughs> I lost my spider I've got to walk coat. back to the car. I lost my spider coat. The car's three miles away. I'm walking back to the car. <laughs> Do you know that one of the coolest inventions, and I don't have it on the table right here, that I've seen recently was Mora's new fl- boat, a floating boat knife. Yes. Made a cork handle. We need to do that on the show one Absolutely. day and show that it really does float. Go to I watched our, a video on it. Yeah. And it, I wouldn't have thought. If you have ever been, if you like to go on the water, if you like to go in, the, in yes. the river, if you like to go out on the lake, you know how the lake and the river eat things. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yes, they do. And so Mara, Mora, Mara, I've, I've dropped into your Zaro. I bet you're doing mine now. <laughs> uh, Mora has come out with a floating boat knife. Yes. And it looks just pretty much like a standard Mora. It has a rounded tip so that you're not going to cut a hole in your dinghy. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Whatever it is. <laughs> Keep a knife away from and your the handle, And the handle is corked. So when you drop this thing in the water, it just floats. It's not like when you drop this case in the hand. If you and drop that in gone. the water, it's just gone. Yeah. That no, is it, the most sickening feeling ever. It really is. So you made me think of that when I when you're yes. talking about that spider yes. coke, just like leaning over and it's like, bloop, oh, it's gone. <laughs> just just it, cry and die a little inside. It. Lake Norris Lake just, uh, just yeah. ate my knife, ate my sunglasses, <laughs> ate my watch. <laughs> I used to kayak all the time. I kept a uh, a buck solitaire uh-huh. tucked in the top pocket of my vest all the time, uh-huh. and I had a lanyard cord, and I had found the one little opening on this pocket. Uh-huh. It was a drain hole, and I ran it through that and attached it to the zipper just in case. Right. I looked like a goofball because I had this huge loop of, of <laughs> Come here, let me paracord, and I was like, Whoosh. <laughs> but I wasn't going to lose that knife. <laughs> no, I totally understand that. So the last part of this list is a little different than we've done before because we don't usually delve into our antiques and customs section. Sure. But we do have that. We have collectibles. We have customs. We have antiques listed on the website. There's literally a button at the very bottom of that homepage that will get you there if oh, you yeah. want to find it. Um, so let's talk about two things, and then we'll point people to the right spot. First yes. and foremost, uh, it's the Josh Weston. This is the one I've avoided for it hit hit catalogs in... It just now hit catalogs. No, no, no. We came out in October. no. It was the one that released in November. Yeah, it was, it, so it, I've it, dodged it, this knife for a month. This is a Christmas catalog knife. Yes. Yeah. So this this was first shown in the Christmas catalog. This is oh. a special version of this, by the way. Yeah. This is a Josh West knife. If you're not familiar, Josh has been on the show many, many times yep. now. Uh, Josh was on Fortune Fire, lost once, won once. Yep. Did knife and de- knife for death. Knife for death. Um, uh, his cousin, I believe, is competing with his Parabus now on knife for death. Yes. Cousin, or yeah, I think it's a cousin. Think it's cousin. Anyhow. Josh hand forged these. Yeah. These are amazing little knives. Look at this thing as I drop it across the thing. This is forged from one piece of 1095 carbon steel. It is so light. It is, but it fits so nicely in it's your hand. It's perfect in your hand, yeah. Uh, it has that nice choil that that wraparound tail gives yeah. you, and it's just a great little knife. This is a fun knife, and the, the price on it is not outrageous. I have to say, let's go ahead and step on the headline. Yeah. This is a $50 handmade custom knife. And if you want to see him making these, just go to his Instagram account. Josh Josh A. Weston on Instagram. Yeah. You can watch him literally making these this uh, past fall, summer. Yeah. Summer, fall. When he was getting ready for them to be in the cattle. Yeah, getting ready for them to be in the cattle. Making all of these that are going to us. Comes with a sheath. And this one is special because it has his signature on it. Now, uh... Melina is going to, she forced me to take this one. All the rest don't have the ones we sell that sure. are on the site. Do not have this. This is going to go up for auction. Oh, how cool. We asked Josh if he would sign one for us as no, he dropped great. them off. And he said yes. He picked out a pretty one uh, that he liked a lot. And then he signed this sheath. And we're going to put that up for auction. Well, and, and here's the cool thing with this coming from a knife maker like Josh. is He designed everything about this to be usable, to mm-hmm. be to be functional and to have this cosmetic beauty. Oh yeah. That he gives to everything he makes. Right. Um, and, and that goes down to the way that it fits in the sheath, the way the sheath design and everything. So yeah, I, absolutely. I, yeah. You can't beat that at 50 bucks. No, that, no, that's a really cool on. Christmas. Cause you have a knife enthusiast, a knife collector, somebody who just loves forged and fire. I say somebody who's a fan of the show. Yeah. Come on, go for it. When yeah. this goes up for auction, we'll put that out there and, and so thank have you, a good Josh look. Weston. That's, yeah. that's really, really cool. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 
and we didn't have to yell, this is Sparta, as we did it, so we're good. We thought about it. We did think about it. The other thing that uh, yeah. Melina picked out from us from that section is a 1976. It was a good year. 1976 Case Whitler. Yes, indeed. Uh, and we have this online. This is craziness going on with people beating things out in the hall. It's what happens right around Ow. Christmas time. Things get moved around. This thing is in near mint condition. Yeah. Good grief. I don't have a clue what they're doing in the hall. Carbon so steel blades, uh-huh. a bone handle, um, plain blades, of course. Uh-huh. This is a... This is a cl- you're not going to find this anywhere else. No. No. I mean, but look at what's on the table right now. Right. That's bizarre. Our collection of products in this company at Smoky Mountain Knife Works is amazing. You can go from brand new Spydercos and Benchmades to custom pieces that, as a company, we've put together to custom knives to antique pieces that you're not going to find anywhere else. Right. I mean, that right. is just a gorgeous 1976. I mean, that thing is 42 years old. Yeah. you. Good I on. only know because that's the year I was born. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that it's just a gorgeous knife. So it is a Whittler. It is not a seahorse Whittler. It is a, a standard Whittler that almost looks like a stockman. It's got the clip yeah, point. But you can see here on the back of this knife that the it's a Whittler because it shares that back those two back springs. Exactly. And it's really, really nice. Here's something that I want to share <laughs> when this hits though, that knife may not be available. No, it's one of a kind. Yeah. And that's why we're going to link in, in, in the notes below. Yeah. I'm going to link you to all of the customs and antiques and collectibles. And that way, at least you'll see some things that are there. Uh, this might go away. And a little behind the scenes, just from us here at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, you want to see fun happen. You come into the e-commerce office when they bring in a whole shipment of, antique stuff they <laughs> fall on it like little vultures and it's amazing right. as they do the research to figure out where did this come from why is it significant what uh-huh. year was it made right um that set of randals we got in when that randall star mm-hmm. that we've talked about on the show before mm-hmm. came up there we all went what the heck is that yeah it's a randall yeah. but why what is right. this for i mean it, it really is it's really really neat. right because it's something out of the box. Right. Because they're all individually unique. So, yeah, people bring in their stuff. We, we uh, buy the collection. Sure we, do. We, we break it down, and we have a look at what's good, what's not good, and we put it out there as best we can. And they are onesies, twosies. So Well, and if you have a collection to sell or, you know, let's say you have a, a parent's collection that you need to sell or, you know, just talk about with somebody, you can actually, we have links online to that as well. Uh-huh. Uh, you can uh, you can even schedule an appointment to come here in the showroom. And show, yeah. And show it to somebody. And, uh, I mean, we, we buy them throughout the year. And then yeah. put the items back up for sale. Yeah. And what is that case run? Uh, that case is right now 225 225 for yeah. a piece of history. That is... And that really is the best way to put it. Right. Because it completely... Near mint condition. Yeah. Piece of history. Yeah. It's just, they're going to be less and less of those. It's extraordinary. Yeah. It really, really is. So let's run back through them real quick. Yeah. JG5. (gasps) Boom. Yes. You can know a guy on your list who is a survivalist, bush crafter, any of those things. Hunter doesn't matter. That kind of thing. That's the knife for them. Yeah. Uh, Benchmade 940. You got your tactical, uh, modern knife loving guy. Look at that. That's the one for you. That's going to make his face glow her face glow That's just anybody all through Christmas spider co Chinook four with S 30 V steel. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Josh Weston blacksmith <sighs> knife. That's just a fun little thing that, you know, if you know a knife collector, that's a fun thing to stick in there. It is. And again, fan of uh, forge and fire fan of Josh Weston, whoever it is, that's a great price on a, a piece of art that he's created. Yeah. And then a, a true collectible, the 1976 yeah. case, as well as the link down here to all the rest of the customs exactly. and collectibles. I think if you went through anything in that section and got somebody uh, that is a collector, Oh, for sure. They would be just stoked. Well, and the cool thing with the, the antique and collectible section is that they only have to be a knife person. Right. If they, you know, if you're looking for a time period in history, we probably have it in there. Right. And again, you're, you're providing them that little, that little bit of history to hold in their hand, to use, mm-hmm. or just to, to frame and put on the wall. Yeah. Just great. Guys, we are running up towards Christmas. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. Uh, if you are not following us right now, I just, I don't know what to say to you. I'm ashamed. I, 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 my, my Christmas wish this year. <laughs> Is to double the size of the SMKW army. I would love it. Overnight. I would love it. I would love it. I, I would love if we had 10,000 more people following. You, 
Come to and yourself. You know, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to look right in this camera. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do an each one, each one, reach one. Oh, I like it. Yeah. So if you're watching this video, I want you to share it. I want you to like it. I want you to tell somebody about the Facebook page. I want you to tell somebody about the Instagram account. I want you to tell somebody about the podcast. What about the SMKW Army in sit, general. When you sit, now that you're full of your, your Thanksgiving turkey and we're headed towards Christmas, this year when you sit down with your Uncle Jimmy at Christmas, tell him about Smoky Mountain Knife Work. Show him how Facebook works. Get him onto our page. That's right. Jimmy's going to be a happier person if he's part of that SMKW Army. So each one of you go out there and reach somebody online and bring them in to this SMKW Army. And you'll make his small heart grow three sizes at Christmas. That's right. That's Jason. <laughs> I'm Andy. This is Guys Talk Knives. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>